What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, if you guys are tuning in, I just did a video on PNS uh, bead maker, uh, my favorite wheel cleaner so far. Um, but this video is gonna be kind of like a piggyback off of that video where I'm gonna show you my step-by-step -step method of how I prevent my steel rotors from rusting. Um, this is a huge pet peeve of mine. I absolutely hate after I spend hours and hours of hard work washing my car down, making it look clean, and then you take the car down the road five miles and it's covered in brake dust and rust uh, from your rotor. So over the years, I've you know studied research and tried to find the best method on how to prevent that. And believe it or not, I think I found the closest thing to perfection that you can do to prevent uh, your steel rotors from rusting. Because when they rust, they, just make your you know rims look awful, especially when you have black rims like I do on this GT350R. So um, I'm not gonna waste any more time. What I do is, my method is I use PNS uh, Brake Buster, which has a rust inhibitor already built into it. So if you use this just to clean your wheels or this, uh, this product alone, you can find a pretty substantial, um, you know, rust inhibitor effect, but uh, I like to take it one step further um, and I just really just don't want any rust if that's possible. And uh, I go ahead and use this diluted five to one in a solo sprayer. Um, and you guys can check out all how I do that on one of my uh, other YouTube videos of how I use this product. Solo sprayer, wash the wheels down, wash them thoroughly. And then I use this Blast, uh, it's called a Blaster Sidekick. Bought this off uh, Amazon. All the links to all these products that I'm using is going to be in the description below so you guys don't have to go ahead and struggle to search all this stuff or remember it. You just go down below and click the links and it'll take you right to it. Um, this uh, Blaster is freaking awesome. I am so glad that I found this product. It is so much easier than carrying around a dang, um, let me go grab it. Uh, than carrying around this big old leaf blower and accidentally maybe hitting your car and scratching it. Because believe it or not, you probably can see right here all these marks. If that hits your paint, you're gonna scrap your, scratch your paint. So leave the big old leaf blower behind and get yourself this blaster. This thing is almost like, I think it was like a thousand watts of power or like something crazy, I don't know. I, I'll have to look up the description. I don't wanna say like wrong things, but this puts out a killer blast force of air. I mean, it'll dry your whole car. All you need is an extension cord. That's the only downside. It's a little bit small of a cord, but everyone has an extension cord laying around. Uh, and this is actually a rubber piece. So if you go ahead and touch your paint, it's safe because it's uh, smooth rubber. It's a really nice product. Uh, they killed it with this thing. Um, I paid, I think, uh, around $90 for this. I actually bought it used in new, like new condition. So I think I got it for 85 to be honest with you guys. Um, I'll put a link in the description of how you can find this product. Um, so wash your wheels down with the wheel cleaner. Um, my wheel cleaner of choice because it has the rust inhibitor, great foamy properties and doesn't have the killer smell that most uh, wheel cleaners have is the PNS Brake Buster. Um, can't say enough good things about that product. Uh, for the amount of money, the smell, the foaming, the brake, uh, or the uh, rust inhibiting properties, you can't beat that product. Diluted five to one, game over, don't search. Just check out my other video I made on that thing. That product's awesome. And then I go ahead and I dry my wheels uh, with this and maybe a clean microfiber towel. But if you use this uh, blaster, you'll notice and you'll see that you don't need something else. This is all you need. This is awesome. That'll dry your whole car, to be honest with you. Um, and then third and finally, Hyde Serum. It's called Rust Stopper. This stuff is top notch, bad to the bone. Amazing product. Uh, I bought this from Matt at Apps, uh, Upsess Garage. You can buy the gallon jug or 16 ounce. Um, the gallon is a little bit expensive. Um, it's coming in at like $69. I'm trying to find a cheaper place to buy it. But uh, what I do is once everything's all dried off, I go ahead and do some generous sprays to the uh, steel rotor, um, let it sit. Um, then I will back the car up um, because you're gonna miss a full you know, quarter section of your brakes, you see how these big ass 
Um, I have six piston calibers on this GT350R and that takes up a lot of room. So go ahead and back up so you don't miss that spot and um, spray it down again. Uh, you can either let it air dry or dry, dry with the blaster. I go ahead and just let it air dry, pull my car in because normally I wash my cars in the evening time. Uh, I don't like to wash anything in the daylight as it leaves like soap streaks and whatnot. Um, and there you had it guys. You will notice a huge, if not complete disappearance of uh, rust on your steel rotors. By far the best go-to method that you can do. Um, I've searched for you know a very long time and uh, this three-step method that I've done, uh, the PNS uh, brake dust uh, brake buster, the uh, blaster drying, if you have something else to dry it with, like a, <clears throat> uh, a, a like a shop vac, I have one over here, or you know a leaf blower, you can use that too. I just think this being handheld and portable, so easy to use, puts out a killer air force. I mean it just blows like no other. Um, I love that product, just saying. Um, and then finally, spray your uh, steel rotors with the uh, Hide Serum Rust Stopper. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and back this thing out, um, clean my wheels, and uh, show you just how awesome this setup is. So uh, stay tuned. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out by uh, uh, rinsing the, uh, the wheels off with my pressure washer. Then I'm going to go ahead and use the PNS uh, brake buster since it has the uh, rust uh, inhibiting um, um, factors built into the chemical. Um, I am going to uh, clean the wheels with this. Um, after that, I'm going to use the solo sprayer to dry the wheels down. And then I'm going to finally hit it with the Uh, hides rust stopper. This uh, is also safe on wheels, so if you get a little bit of residue that falls off onto your wheels, you're okay. Uh, it's not going to hurt your uh, your wheels. Um, so go, I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably fast forward through this because this is probably a little bit loud, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and phone these guys up, uh, wash them down, use my brushes. Uh, all the links to all everything I'm using, all the brushes and whatnot are in my channel. If you want to see a more in depth how I use PNS um, Brake Buster, you can check out my uh, other video on the actual product. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. All right guys, so I went ahead and rinsed the uh, tires down. Now I'm gonna use this uh, uh, blaster. Um, this thing, sorry, it's a little bit loud. This thing is awesome. You'll see how uh, well it does at, um, you know, wicking water. Right?
So once you have the uh, wheels pretty well, um, you know, dried off, you take the uh, rust stopper serum and just go ahead and spray it right on the steel rotors. Um, then what I do is uh, I let that sit for a little bit, back the car up, um, and apply it again, let it dry. And uh, yeah, guys, you'd be really uh, surprised with the results. Um, I'll take a, uh, you know, maybe a video once this thing dries off so you guys can see that uh, the, the brakes, um, calipers, um, rotors haven't, um, you know, rusted over. All right, guys, so I've just uh, washed these uh, front wheels. Now I'm going to dry them down and hit them with a brush powder. Got the rust over here and spray it. And then uh, move the car. Sorry, I moved kind of far. And then take it. No, I just spray it again. And uh, let that dry. I can guys go ahead and show you guys this side that I did before. And you can kind of see how Normally these rotors would already be all rusted up um, and you can kind of see how they're not. So yeah, really cool product. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, depending on how dirty your rims are, you might have to use uh, a little bit more stronger of a potion uh, of the PNS uh, Brake Buster. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have guys. Let me know uh, uh, after you use this three-step method of the uh, PNS Brake Buster with the re uh, rust inhibitor in it, the drying with the um, the blaster, and then the Hides Serum Rust Stopper. Let me know your guys' results. Uh, I really think you'll be pleased with uh, how well this does at uh, preventing your uh, rotors from rusting over. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.